Okay, if everything went to plan, the image you're looking at right now is 18K resolution. Now, if you didn't hear about all the hype surrounding Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan's latest movie, it was shot on 70 millimeter IMAX cameras, which have a perceived resolution of 18K. Obviously, it's impossible to actually determine the exact resolution because film does not work in pixels, but I wanted to see if I could create my own version of that digitally to make my own 18K IMAX camera. If everything went to plan, you shouldn't be looking at an IMAX aspect ratio and an 18K resolution image. Well, in this case, 8K, because that's the highest resolution that YouTube allows you to upload. But the actual image is 18K and has just been downscaled to 8K to fit YouTube's compression algorithm. So how did I do this? Well, to be fully transparent, this is the image that was actually shot on the camera I used. The 6K resolution Red Komodo, which has a super 35 millimeter sensor not even close to the size of 70 millimeter IMAX. So what do we have to do to achieve an actual IMAX size frame and resolution? Firstly, a bit of math. I took the size of the Red Komodo sensor, the 17 by nine Super 35 sensor, and multiplied the width and the height of that in comparison to the size of 70 millimeter IMAX. Not only does this change the aspect ratio, but it also tells us how much we have to zoom out to get a better picture of what an actual IMAX aspect ratio and frame size would look like in this environment. Now you might be wondering, how do you actually do that without having a larger sensor size on a camera? And that's where AI comes in. Because this is a static shot, I used AI to extend the frame size, not only to achieve the aspect ratio of IMAX and the field of view of an IMAX 70 millimeter camera, but also to increase the resolution and enhance it to get to that 18K figure. This is not at all practical and I wouldn't recommend doing this for any normal shots. And frankly, the edges of this might look weird because I don't know how this has turned out yet. I just wanted to try it to see if it was even possible to achieve A, that resolution and B, emulate the frame size and the aspect ratio of IMAX. If you had a chance to watch Oppenheimer in 70 millimeter IMAX, you'll know how good it looks on that giant silver screen. And while you're definitely not watching this video in 70 millimeter, meter IMAX and while YouTube's compression is probably ruining all the perceived resolution, it's fun to think that maybe a couple decades from now we'll have cameras in a lot smaller of a form factor that are not as loud as a current IMAX camera that can achieve that sensor size and resolution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.